Good evening. I'm Anna Mann, principal of Amity Regional High School, and I'm excited to welcome you back to in-person learning where you are about to meet your child's teacher for the year. Since 2014, the high school has had the following core values, beliefs, and mission statement that we have worked as that we have used to serve as our focus for all of the work that we have done at this high school. Um, our core values of fairness, respect, and passion help support the mission statement where we delineate that we have a desire, we have a responsibility to help our students develop the skills and desire necessary to become contributing members of a just society. We work uh, to report out on that progress through our learning expectations of academic, social, and civic. So this year, as we build back to full in-person learning, we have adopted the theme of hashtag Amity United. We know that we're gonna be working towards rebuilding as we have readjusted to full school days and lunch and um, navigating the uh, programs both during and after school. Uh, that's going to help, we're going to have to continue to be flexible and adaptable as we um, work toward building back from the um, impacts of the pandemic. Um, we also will, are fully and deeply committed to fostering an inclusive and positive environment, and we will do that through curricular and programmatic um, uh, experiences for our students and for our faculty and staff, um, because we know that all of these things together are what create an excellent learning community. One of the large adjustments that we are making is um, in the piloting of our interdistrict portrait of a graduate. So this K-12 portrait of a graduate um, demonstrates that the, this illustrates a self-aware citizen through a determined course of scholastic experiences which, who display the following characteristics of communicator, planner, problem solver, collaborator, and empathizer. The superintendent presented this portrait of a graduate at the September Board of Ed meeting on September 13th. So there are many members of the high school faculty and staff, um, but a few that you can use as people to turn to for help are the associate principals who are broken up, their, their assignments are broken up for students with last names based on alphabet. So Mr. Miguel Pickering works with students with last names A through F. Ms. Monica Cruiser works with students last names G through N. And Mr. Frank Beretta works with students' last names O through Z. Um, our Director of Counseling is Ms. Jill LaPlante, and our uh, high school pupil personnel coordinator is Ms. Jamie Guthrie. We also have a full host of school counselors, including a college and career counselor, um, three school psychologists, and support counselors, where we have two social workers and our student outreach counselor, all of whom are ready and able to assist students. Our classroom teachers are very responsive and are willing to um, discuss progress at any point. Our department chairs help us uh, lead the curriculum and work as um, supporters for our classroom teachers. We also have security personnel, our school resource officer, um, Officer Sapione, and our coaches and all of our staff are um, ready and willing to help students at any point to help them navigate the high school building. Um, additionally, we have uh, on our via on our website a, an anonymous tip line um, where students or parents can report concerns um, completely anonymously, and that is uh, that number is available on our tip line for on our website for Speak Up. Um, our community service hours. We have a program at the high school where students can graduate with distinction if they earn 100 community service hours over the course of high school. Um, these need to be documented through um, every every year through PowerSchool through a form, and then a hard copy can be dropped off to the Career Center with Miss Valley so that she can collect and collate those forms. Um, we are continuing to maintain Google Classrooms and email, email are essential to our communication and for both for you and for your child. Um, so the children have um, access to Google Classrooms and you can ask them to show it to you at any point, which gives you a lot of information about what's happening in each class. Um, but we also ask you to encourage your children to check their emails as that will be an essential part of our communication. We would ask you to verify that your power school is up to date. Um, with your contact information um, so that you are able to re receive um, information and communication regularly. We also use Naviance for high school goal setting and for um, college applications. 
And um, as a reminder, all of our students in grades nine through 12 will be earning one of their credits will be through their mastery based diploma assessment credit, which is where the academic, social and civic expectations come in, because the half of that will be earned through their learning expectations over the first three years of high school. And the other half will be earned through an experiential learning program, such as senior service learning project or um, senior interest project. We communicate in a variety of different ways. Um, most regularly is through our through my weekly newsletter sent to parents every Friday. It's also posted on the website by the following Monday. Um, the students uh, then follow up my newsletter with a, an email that is sent to every student. This is maintained and um, authored by student government representatives. Um, we do maintain uh, a high school administrators Twitter and Instagram, um, and many clubs and student. Uh, uh, programs also maintain um, Instagram. Additionally, PowerSchool is our main uh, conduit for emergency announcements and school cancellations and other general announcements. But I would encourage everyone to join the PTSO. Um, if you're, whether you're able to attend meetings regularly or not, there's a lot of information that is disseminated through the PTSO. And certainly it's a wonderful way to um, understand what is happening on a regular basis at the high school and an opportunity to share parent voice. Our email exchange is firstname.lastname at amityregion5.org, so you are able to communicate with anybody in the district using that email exchange. So tonight we will have link crew leaders available for, um, to offer uh, guardians directions throughout the night. Um, we ask that you bring with you a copy of your child's schedule. We will be following periods one through six on an A day schedule and periods seven and eight on a B day schedule. The program will begin at 6.30 and will conclude around 8.30. PTSO and the Booster Club will both be available for signups in the main hallway as you enter the building. Um, the school bell will indicate the start and end time of classes tonight. There'll be about five minutes to pass, which is about the same time as your children get to pass during the school day. Um, as I said, the first uh, bell will signify uh, at 6.30 and then the first class will start at 6.35. Administrators will also be in the halls walking around to assist parents. So tonight's program is really to get a sense of what your children's teachers um, are bringing to school and what they're excited to have your children bring to school. They're here to share their passion for teaching and their passion for Amity and the passion for watching your children and helping them grow. Um, as far as individualized information about your child or um, questions about curriculum or, or class expectations, that information can certainly be viewed on um, the Google Classrooms or through the Atlas Parent Portal. Or if you have a question, as I said, about your, your child, please reach out individually to your child's teacher um, at a different time uh, so that you can arrange for a phone call or an email um, to ask those questions, or if you'd like an after-school meeting. Parent-teacher conferences are also um, coming up at the end of first and second quarter. So that's another opportunity to meet with your parent, your children, child's teachers. So as we move into tonight, again, our first back to school night in person um, in two years, we appreciate your continued support. We um, encourage you to reach out uh, to any of us and we wish you good luck this school year. Thank you. <laughs>